Well, let's take a walk through the code in this LabVIEW project. Begin by reviewing the overall structure. In PC main, we have a number of network published shared variables. Some of these are for reading and some have their access mode set to write. The stop button is writing to this particular shared variable and, this, and either the stop button condition or an error condition causes PC main to stop. Let's look at RT main. RT main has a non-deterministic loop that is a conventional while loop and a timed loop also known as a deterministic loop. Here we see corresponding network published shared variables that are communicating information from the PC main and then manipulating the onboard LED and uh, onboard button. The stop button from the PC main is also used to stop both of these loops on RT main. The accelerometer value is read at a rate of 100 hertz and then written to that published variable. Because this resides inside a, a deterministic loop, you must enable the RT FIFO option. This would be true of all of the variables inside the deterministic loop. The shared variable for stopping needs to be cleared after RT main has exited, so that way RT main can restart later. Let's place an existing variable that already exists inside the project. This is very simple. Just find your shared variable library and drag and drop an element onto your block diagram. Right click to select the access mode as either read or write. You can also create a new variable and this can be done within an existing library, or if you don't have a library already, then select your RT target and choose New Variable. This is a network published variable. You can type in the name. You can select the appropriate data type. And notice that you also have the option to select an array. For this demonstration, I'll just go with a single double you can enable a more, dis, uh, more detailed description if you like. Buffering is an option that you might want to investigate. You can see the help page for more details on that. Single writer can give you some efficiencies if you know that you're only writing the variable in one place in the VI. The RT FIFO option should be disabled when the variable exists in a conventional while loop. However, it should be enabled if it is inside a timed loop. All right, you'll see that the default name is Untitled Library. Go ahead and select Save and then give a meaningful name to your library. And we see it's been added to the project. If you have an existing library that you've just created, you can then create more variables in a similar way that we just did before.